Hello friends, this video on force and pressure part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now, one question that might surprise you is, do liquids also exert pressure like solids? Because till now we are only talking about solid objects which exert pressure. But do liquids or gases, they also exert pressure like solids? Well, yes, liquids and gases also exert pressure on the walls of container. Now, this sounds very surprising. This actually means that if you have a glass of water, at any point of time, that water is exerting pressure on the walls of that glass. Now, this sounds quite surprising to you maybe. But now we will try to prove that how we can say that liquids also exert pressure on the walls of its container. And we will prove the same in case of gases as well. So let us first talk about liquids. So I will just tell you about a very simple experiment which will prove that liquids exert pressure on walls of the container. So what do we do for this purpose? You take a bottle, maybe a plastic bottle, you just make a hole somewhere near this position and you attach another tube at this position and then you fix a balloon to the mouth of this tube. Now how will you attach a tube to this? Maybe you can heat the tube and then fix it when it is hot because once it is hot then it becomes soft and flexible but when it becomes cold and hard then you cannot change its shape. So by heating you can actually fix a cylindrical rod towards the bottom of a bottle. And now you fill this bottle with a liquid, maybe water. Now after some time, what do you see? As you keep on increasing the amount of water in this container, you see that the pressure exerted on the walls also keep on increasing. And because of that, because of that pressure, this balloon starts to get inflated. So nobody is blowing the balloon, but the balloon is getting blown due to the pressure exerted by the liquid which is present inside this container. So instead of having the wall of the container here we are having this cylindrical tube which is directly connected to the balloon so if the liquid exerts pressure on the walls of the container so that pressure will be seen as an inflated balloon here so this is one experiment which shows that the liquids exert pressure on walls of container let us try out another experiment so take a similar type of bottle which is filled with water or any other fluid and you make holes at a certain height from the ground but make sure that you make at an interval of some distance as you can see here so three holes are visible here so what do you see what happens we see that water starts flowing out of these holes now why do water start to flow that's because water is continuously exerting pressure on the walls of the container so anywhere on the wall of the container if there is a small the smallest gap also the liquid will try to come out of it because it was anyways exerting pressure on the walls and now in the wall you have an opening so it you tend to come out so we see that water comes out through all these pores almost at the same rate so this proved that liquids exert pressure on walls of the container now, you might be interested to carry out the same experiment for gases. So, let us see how do we do that. So, let us try to do a similar, very simple experiment to prove that even in case of gases, this holds true. That is, gases also exert pressure on the walls of its container. Just think of this balloon. Now, this balloon is already inflated, so it is filled with air and that is nothing but gas. Now, what you need to do is take a sharp object like a needle and try to just pierce it through the balloon. So, what will happen? The balloon will burst, of course. So, what happened finally? So, you are no more left with that inflated balloon with air inside. So, all the air came out. So, why that air came out? Because as soon as you made a tiny, very, very tiny hole on the walls of the container, the container in this case was the balloon the surface made up of rubber and inside you had the gas now the gas was already exerting pressure on the walls as soon as you pierce it it just comes out through that tiny hole and that's how your balloon bursts so this shows that gases also exert pressure on the walls of their container now the same balloon again if you start blowing it by putting in air inside it what will happen you will be able to blow the balloon once again Correct? 
So as you blow the balloon, what happens? The gases are being put inside the balloon and the gases are continuously exerting pressure on the walls of the balloon. And that is why the balloon is increasing or the balloon is increasing from all its sides. It is not that it is just increasing on one side. So throughout its shape, it is increasing. Similarly, if you would have seen that if you pierce a sharp object in the tire of your vehicle, so the tire gets punctured. That is also because the tire is filled with air and the air is continuously exerting pressure on the walls of its container, which is this rubber tube. Now, as soon as you try to pierce it with some sharp object, maybe sometimes some sharp object is present on the road. So while you are driving your vehicles, it gets just inserted into the tire. Or sometimes some people purposely, they do this to make it to puncture your tire. Now, whenever the sharp object is inserted into the tire, so the air which is present inside the tire, it comes out and then the tire is said to be punctured. So it becomes flat. So these are some examples which tell us that even gases exert pressure on the walls of their container. So gases exert pressure on walls of container. So not only solids but liquids and gases also exert Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.